gesture handling was handled in the on-touch event of the view. It makes more sense to me to let all of the gesture handling to happen within the gesture. So I brought in the code that, that handles a single tap and put that as part of the gesture listener instead. Just allows each, each component to do its job, do its job com completely as opposed to having the, the task of gesture handling split among a couple different places. With it split among in a couple different places, does that does the program then go through and have to look for it in a couple different spots? Um, when I say it was split between uh, a couple different places, if you go back to the original and look, the code to do the aiming was on the untouched event, and then the code to do the uh, the shooting was on the gesture handle. It's, it's less of a problem of efficiency. In other words, the way the code was written worked, all right? And it wasn't particularly that difficult, but it seems to me that, again, you're, you're taking something that ought to be done in one place and putting it in, in two different places, all right? You have some of your, some of your gesture handling is done in the untouch event, and that doesn't, doesn't seem to be as clean to me. If I want to handle the gestures, I'll have a gesture handler and I'll let it do its job. Notice again that even with my refactoring of it, the gesture handlers don't do a lot, right? They simply call the appropriate functions. But now I made those functions better by making them each dedicated to just one purpose. And therefore I can shoot without aiming if I want. This week coming up, after today, or well, next week, I won't say after today, after today for this class, but, but um, next week is spring break. So, a few things that I think that would be beneficial for you. Number one, by all means, relax and have a good time, whether you're going somewhere or just staying around here, all right? So try to spend some of your time relaxing, refreshing, rejuvenizing yourself. Number two, catch up on anything that you're having difficulty with or anything that you haven't turned in. Um, I will check my email over spring break, so if you're running into difficulties, don't hesitate to email me. Um, I get nervous when I see students that don't have things turned in and yet I'm not seeing emails from them. All right. So by all means, email me to show me your progress. Even if you think you're making progress, drop me a line and say, hey, you know, How's it going so far? Here is, here's what I have so far. Take a look at it. Tell me if I'm on the right track. And definitely, if you're having problems, send me an email. The other thing, and I won't post this example, but the other thing that would be a nice experiment in coding, a nice little exercise, would be to take the code that I've done, or take the changes that I've done to the Canon game, to allow a fling to shoot without aiming, and see if you can implement that yourself. That will require you to do probably the same two things that I did. And that is, number one, implement that gesture. And number two, break apart that aim cannon code to um, its components. But I would encourage you to take a shot with that. And again, if you're having difficulties, let me know. All right. Um, we will be revisiting threads throughout this, but I, if you do have questions on the concept of threads or any of the conceptual stuff we, can, uh, we covered at the beginning of the class, please ask that as well.